What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Twisted Life of TV. I am Audrey. You are here for another uh, tale. This is going to be like a story time almost, y'all. Almost. Um, hopefully, the sound is picking up today. My voice is going. It's getting deeper and deeper. Uh, I sound like a man to myself with little hints of feminism in it. But for the most part, I sound very masculine. But anyway, um, my sound was sounding horrible in yesterday's video. It was going up and down the, the, the road. You could hear the road real bad. So hopefully we get better sound quality today. I think I adjusted my mics where um, the, they are clear. Hopefully that's the case. I still got to go over these railroad tracks down here. I should be able to get to work on time today. I left 10 minutes earlier than I did yesterday. We're going to see how things go. Okay, so, yeah, this, this my little story time is political-based. It's political-based. So, give me a second, John. I'm trying out a new lipstick. I'm trying to introduce... More fall colors into my line. I, I like it, but I don't like it. It's too dark for me. I need more orange colors. Because I got a lot of red undertones in my skin tone. So I need a lot of more earthy, orangey colors. And that was like, that was a little bit too dark for me. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so anywho, child. Yeah, my, my stuff for today is going to be a story time. So yesterday I had one of the most interesting yet disturbing conversations that I think I've had in a while. So I work a lot around a lot of rich folks, right? And I remember it's a few months ago, one of my uh, clients, they you know they came, they met me at the door, and I, for some reason this man always wants to grab me and hug me. Okay, so I've kind of got used to his reaction at this point. I like I kind of ready myself for the hug because I know it's freaking coming. Um, he even tried to like hint that I should like date his son. That's the type of reaction this man has. Now he is um he's Indian. I'm not sure from what um what I guess I guess I can say East Asian. I think he is in, from India. He might be Pakistani. No, he's from India. He's from India. Okay, he's from India. I found that a lot of uh, Indian folks support Republicans. Um, for the most part, a lot of Indian folks don't really like black people. So the fact that this man is so receptive and open to me, I was like really shocked when I first started working over here in this area. Okay. So, this was back when Biden was still running, and they were both trying to win the primary nominee, but Biden and Trump. And um, he kept telling me, well, one day he, 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 he said, he was like, oh man, it's, this climate is crazy right now. And I was like, yeah, it is. It's kind of crazy. I want to say he probably in his 70s, maybe late 60s, early 70s. He's like, this climate is really crazy right now. And I was like, yeah. It is. He said, the world is just gone to shit. I was like, yeah, you know, it's it's, it's, it's a whole lot of um, hatred and stuff being spread. And he was like, that's why we got to vote. I said, you, you damn all right. We got to vote. His next statement said, yeah, we got to get Biden's ass up out of there. I said, no, 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 no. That's not what we finna do. That's not what we finna do. Um, I said, I disagree. I um. I think Biden should be, you know, president again. Um, he was like, no, no, no. My, my man Trump, let's let's get Trump in office. He needs to be back in office. I say, I don't think that's a good idea for me as a black woman. <laughs> and and uh, he was like, well, you know, we just going to have our difference of opinion. I said, we're going to have our difference. Okay. Now, from that point on, me and him still speak. We say, how you doing? Um, he don't run up to give me hugs no more, though. He does not give me hugs anymore. That's fine. Okay. Fast forward to 
forward to yesterday. I got another client who just turned 87 Saturday. I was like, oh, happy birthday. I was so excited he turned 87, you know. He up there. He almost 90 fucking years old, right? He's an old Italian white guy. Um, For the, I want to say three years that I've been working in this area, he makes it his business to greet me every time he sees me. And after the first few meetings, after actually talking and having conversations with him, and find out that he's from, um, that he's Italian, but he you know grew up in New York, and that I, he got a son in Arizona. He, you know, he, I know all the man business. He was trying to even move to Arizona. He was like, I'm leaving you. He was gonna move to Arizona. He went there to go visit. It was too fucking hot, you know, that type of situation. He tried to give me a hug once, and then motherfucker had COVID, and I was like, whoa, whoa. no. He's like, you don't believe in that shit, do you? I said, where you think you got it from? Okay. Came back from Arizona for visiting his son, and he had COVID. And he was trying to hug me. First time ever he was trying to hug me, but he ain't never tried that shit again. Okay, anyway. So, I'll be happy to see him because we have some conversations. Sometimes, I, well, most times I'll be happy to see him because we have some good little chocolate conversations. And he's always seemed to be like this little dapper dude. You know what I'm saying? He always a bit flirtatious and shit. And, but he had come out there and like he had come out and, and greased me. He has put on one of his 1967, 1970 suits. He's so very proud of all the Italian suits that he owns, right? And um, he wants to show me how good he's still looking. And I, he, I'm 87, you know, he was 84 when I met him. I was like, okay, okay, he looking at that. So I would see him and I rolled up like, oh, look at your dapper dad. You know, we, we joke like that. And I'm like, who you trying to look cute for? Now he has a wife, y'all, he ain't young. But you know, like older men just like to see that, get that attention sometimes. And so, um, and he always going his little stories about back in his day, da, 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 da. So yesterday, he came out to the vehicle um, before I even got out my car. And he wanted to greet me and everything. And um, so I stopped and I was like, hey, how you doing? And that's when he reminded me that his birthday was there. And I was like, well, happy birthday. And he was like, um, so proud to tell me that he was going to vote for Trump. And he's like, he sat there and he waited for my answer. Now, me being a government employee, we're not supposed to discuss politics at work and definitely not with a client. But I'm like, nah, not me. I'm not going to do that. Not gonna, I ain't going to be able to do that one. I'm not going to be able to do that one. He was like, no, I'm voting for Trump. I said, okay, I'm not. I'm voting for Harris, right? He said, so you're not going to vote? I said, no, I'm, I am going to vote. I already voted. I voted for Harris. He said, well, I'm definitely going to go out there and go get vote my boy uh, Trump in. I said, you know him personally? Because, you know, he got to call my boy. He was like, no. He said, but that's my boy. He, he, uh, he's trying to protect our liberties. I say, yeah, see, I think he's totally against protecting liberties. He said, no, ever since, uh, he said, ever since, he said, this last four years under the Biden administration, we have totally lost our liberties. We've lost all our liberties. And it, got, it, it, it caught me by surprise. I was like, you lost your liberties? You an 87 year old white male living in one of the richest neighborhoods in Florida and what his house is a million dollar home what liberties have you lost sir I, I got confused to the point that I was that, like I didn't know what the fuck the word liberty meant and I'm like what liberties have you lost he was like we've lost all our freaking liberties all of them I said no and he said, no, and with, with, with the parents, we're just going to lose even more. I say, well, you know, because I'm a literal person. I was like, well, if you lost all your liberties already, there's nothing left to lose, right? I say, but what, again, what liberties have you lost? I say, it's not Harris that's out here trying to take reproductive rights against women. It's not Harris out here trying to take immigration rights uh, and status away from illegal immigrants. It's not Harris campaign that's mad that uh, transgenders and LGBTQ people are out here. It's that's not Harris. That's that's Donald Trump and his campaign. I say he 
just sat up here and told, uh, uh, allowed his speaker to call Americans uh, garbage. And after he's called us garbage time and time again, he's oppressed black people. He said, I'm voting for Trump. I'm not going to damn argue with you. I want my liberties back. And I'm like, what liberties? <laughs> what liberties are you missing as an 87 year old white male? Racism? The freedom to have, be racist? Is that the only liberties? What liberties are you lacking? I say, okay, well, we're not going to argue. We're just going to, you know, be able to exist in this world together, I guess, you know. And he stormed off. He said, I'm voting for Trump. I was like, I already voted for Harris. That's all I can tell you. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can freaking tell you at this particular point. But he probably won't speak to me ever again. Three years of him being one of the, my favorite people to talk to probably all got ruined in that moment. Now, I tell y'all, um, I told y'all I was talking to, uh, I told I was telling y'all about the yard wars in a couple videos ago, how we put out these yard signs and we've been, it seemed like it's been a competition between myself and the HOA president because she's gonna pass no signs to people and stuff like that. When my daughter was home yesterday, I, well, I told y'all yesterday too that when I had my signs out, I put my second sign out, the one that says uh, division, unity over division, right? The Harris Walks, I put that sign out. And I'm out here cutting my yard and I looked up and she in my yard too, helping me clean up my yard, blowing the leaves around and then another. You know, it seemed like we had that type of community environment. But I told y'all, I think I told y'all before in, a, in the previous video, that every time that my HOA president comes into my neighborhood, uh, his wife, not the president, the HOA president's wife comes over into my yard, I get written up for something. The grass too short, the grass too long. Yeah, you know, but it's mainly the grass. It's usually all the trash cans that can be seen from the street. Simple shit like that, because we ain't got a lot of HOA rules. We ain't got a lot of rules at all. Keep my grass at a certain level. Can't be below two inches. Don't want it over three. Okay? Make sure your trash cans are not seen. I don't see. I was trying not to cuss them out, but their finger came up. Make sure your trash cans are not seen from the street. Basically, everybody got like little trellises, or I got a tree that my trash cans sit behind, or what have you, right? Um, no weeds, overgrown weeds. I think that's it. And then we're paying for the uh, the gate. You know, make sure our gate is maintained. That's all our rules and regulations that we really have. But I keep getting read up for shit that the trash can and the, the, you know stuff like that. So there's nothing to write me up about at this particular time except for the panels on my fence that got uh, blown down before the storm happened, right? I got knocked down that I think my neighbor accidentally I must say accidentally knocked down with um his lawnmower and his, his lawn looked fucking good child he went out there the next day after I cut my grass with his little bride lawnmower showing me out shit grass look good as a motherfucking lion dog mm, okay I should have took pictures I'm gonna take pictures because y'all not gonna see this video till I get home anyway because it's only on day three after my little phone cycle has turned over and they telling me I'm already out of data so I can't upload shit because it's gonna take forever it, by the time I upload I will be at home so I might as well wait till I get back home to do it then okay so I'm gonna take pictures of the people's yard signs and it's yard and shit and I might show y'all okay so anywho so um my daughter she's at home during the daytime and she usually goes on a walk through the neighborhood get her steps in and shit like that right keep her, you know, her body moving and she texts me around 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon to tell me that the HOA president's wife has now increased her yard size she has gone from 2 Trump van size to 4 <laughs> my daughter said they so neatly lined up in the front yard all across the yard and I'm thinking damn I knew I should have got more size so I had one more sign to put out and that's my hate has no home here sign. And it has like um, a, a black fist, it has the peace symbol, it has the rainbow heart for the rainbow flag for the, uh, the pride. Um, I think it has a chemical symbol for climate change and I think it's one other symbol on it. But that's what it says, hate has no home. It might, does it have a religious symbol? I'm not sure, but it basically 
it says hate has no home here. It's in bright, beautiful gold colors. It's a big ass, you know, it's 11 by 14 sign. No, it's 12 by 18. It's a big 12 by 18 sign. So I stuck that out there today. Stuck that out there today. So you know, I ain't got another sign to come back with after that one. Except for the fact that I just got an email about going to pick up new signs. I can pay $10. And they say they still donate to the damn campaign. That's what they, they do. When you buy the signs, you donate to the campaign. And I can get a couple more signs and I can go pick them up tomorrow. But I'm not going to do it. Because I feel like with my three signs, I prove my point. I have nothing left to say. I don't, like I said, I wasn't going to argue with with Trumpers any longer. I was going to say my piece and that be it. So my first my first statement was I put the Harris Walt sign out. And it, was, it has the text number on there for you to join the campaign or you know, whatever on the sign. Bam, that was the first one. Then four Trump signs popped up in the neighborhood, throughout the neighborhood. My, my HOA president had one at the time. Okay, uh, storm happened. We took the signs down. Storm was over. Signs went back up. One of the P3, one of the four people removed their sign. Um, another resident added a Harris Walt sign to her. So then it became three signs Trump with two Harris Waltz. And then the HOA president put up a second sign. So after coming, um, when she put her second sign up, I put up my second sign, which is the Unity Over Division Harris Waltz, right? Bright pink sign. And so then it became my two signs, the one lady around the corner, the HOA president, two signs, and then two other people. So now it's back to four signs being in the neighborhood now. No longer, right, back to four signs. Four to three. <laughs> they still got one up over us. <laughs> and so after she came and helped me, you know, do my yard, blow out all the leaves and da 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 this, that, and the other, she added two more Trump land signs to the yard. I just put my hate has no home here sign up, and I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. We voting ends on Tuesday. Get out and vote. Only I may put up my sign and say, if you need to ride to the polls, text me. That's it. But our polls is so close that we could walk to our poll for real. Um, but that may be the only other thing I put up if anything. But yeah, it's it's definitely a war. It's definitely a war. You may win with signs, and I, I, I think she's trying to prove a point to me, which is why she's doubling up. She would be two to four signs. <laughs> and I'm like, I ain't got no point to prove no more. I mean, I said what I said is basically what I'm saying. I put my hate has no home here sign up this morning. I put it on the curb right underneath the mailbox so everybody can see it as they drive past. My hers and wall signs are actually in my yard. Um, I think her hers and wall signs are in her yard too. She put them closer to her front door. The neighbor across the street has one. The other lady took hers down. It used to be a guy at the very end of the block that had a big banner. I mean, that's when it was Trump Pence. And he had his, like, his whole backyard. It covered that in there. His whole backyard so you could see it over his fence. It was huge, y'all. A huge ass sign. Um, well, we... When I went on my walk the other day, I didn't see his sign. So I don't know. And maybe he moved. I don't know. His fence is blown down too. Because his fence got blown down during the storm. So maybe he took the sign down for the storm. I don't know, child. It don't even matter. Well, yeah, I was out done though. But I may have lost uh, at least that particular client. He may not be as friendly to me anymore. Um, <laughs> because I just couldn't understand. Because, like, liberty, when he's talking about when he lost liberties, liberties are rights that you are being allotted, rights that you are given. Statue of liberty, you know? Um, I don't know what liberties he's lost. What liberties has he lost? 
if you know, y'all let me know um, what liberties has he lost? What liberties do y'all think he may have lost? I, 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 I'm going to have to tell you, y'all. I probably should feel bad about this. Because like I told you, when I wrote, when I wrote up, when, he, when, I, when he greeted me at the car, he came out, and he was telling me he was feeling under the weather. But he had just told me about his birthday, too. And I was like, oh, man, that's not, you don't want to feel bad on your birthday. You know, you need to just hit 87. You can live a long life, da 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 And after he stormed off and was like, I'm over Trump. Like, he, like he was upset. And that he wasn't speaking to me no more. He's like, that storm away. I, I don't know why he thought that me. This black girl that always wearing shirts with black women on it and rocking my big afro, talking in my AAVE, you know what I'm saying? Why he thought that I was going to be like, hey, you over Trump? No, sir. Mm -mm. And Orlando overall is a blue city. We live, we a blue city within the red state, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, but I don't know why he thought that I was going to be impressed by that. Well, why are all these people in my in my on my clients feel like 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 proud to tell me that they voted for Trump and then get sadly disappointed when this black woman veteran union worker cat lady I'm not childless though but I am a cat lady. Why I'm not like, like, ooh, you vote with Trump, ooh, like that's, like that's why that, like, why do you think that's supposed to impress me? You know what? Why you thought that was supposed to impress me? And then I was supposed to feel some kind of way if you're happy about it. And like, I didn't get mad. I was just like, can I get no friend here? Thank you. I didn't get mad. Thank you. Um. I was just like, okay, I guess we both just gonna have to coexist in this world together. He seemed to be thoroughly upset. I guess because you no, know, we joke and we, you know, we did the old, old man, young lady flirt. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know, child. I don't know why he was so butthurt. Anyway, let me get off here. Y'all get this video later on today. If it upload while I'm at work, it upload, but I don't think it will. I don't think it will upload. They told me I had already used over 100 gigabytes of, like my cycle switches over on the 28th. On the 28th, they told me I had already ran out. I hit 50, and at 50 is when they start slowing you down. And so I thought it was gonna start over. And then yesterday, which was, what fucking date is it? The 30th, this day was 31st Halloween. Three days after my cycle switched over, told me I'd already hit 100 gigabytes. Now, I sit and watch YouTube videos all day long. That's how I get through my work day. And I've never ran out of data. And within three days of me just uploading a video a day, I've already ran out of data. It's crazy. If y'all not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Like the video, comment, share. Peace. All right, y'all, I'm about to walk out here. I wanted to show y'all this before it got dark. So here's my yard. I got little simple signs, you know. Okay. Then I got another one right here. But if I'm standing outside in my property and I look across the street, my neighbor pointed her sign facing my house. Here's the one I put by my mailbox. And damn, why is it so big? Now I'm gonna walk down the street, y'all, and show my HOA neighbor again my house. Show my HOA neighbor, because my daughter was like, I have to see it. <laughs> so, this is her yard, y'all. Make sure I'll show her address. So, yeah, that is pretty much, oh, it's one more down the street, one more down the street, but yeah, I don't even know who these people are, but anywho, child, 
that was in response those four signs in that one yard is in response to my two Harris Walt sign they had to outdo me I guess but yeah <laughs> that's hilarious vote 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 vote